Hi, this will be a real quick video about this boom boxy that I got done fixing. And as you can tell, it's a sound design from the 1980s. It's not perfectly clean because I couldn't get the speakers out, I was afraid of breaking them. And it's not my boom box, this belongs to someone else. I bought it, and then they're paying me to fix it. It's already got new belts in it, I've cleaned it pretty well. Sound design didn't make it, it was made in Korea by someone, but it does actually work pretty well. This is a really copyrighted tape, so we're not going to do long of this. And he's carrying a warrant in his hand. I don't know, Polly got in trouble for copyright. I don't own any uncopyrighted music. That was just Dwight Yoakam's original, I think, first album that someone gave me. And I usually, and I saw him in concert too. Pretty good. But, nah, uh, enough about that. Yeah, single. You're here for the boombox. And there it is. It's done. Let's see how the radio does. This is not the original antenna. But uh, the other one, the original one, was busted, so... But that'll be a lot better than what it has. I don't expect it to pick up much in the basement, but we can see. It's I felt like I needed to, so we had our dog together. Oh, Maggie was love. News at sevenrangesradio.com. It's the only show that's... Right now, I show the people what I got. Beholy, you are God. Just matter for the... How the tournaments? They've been fantastic the whole tournament. I said to them... Yes, but I'm not sure I agree. That is... Okay. Nothing in charging. Whenever you need... With six strips of bacon or the perfect fries and frosty duo. If you're up later, then so are we. So go ahead and pull through the drive. The FM stereo might not work. Go night mode at Wendy's. Open till midnight or later. All right, see ya <clears throat> later. And participate in West Wendy's hours before. This is in the We're basement. We've been abroad for the first time in years to Spain. So we started using. Hmm. So we want to build. Um... Our local station. This is all done on a chip. Like 30% off classic jeans and more from Levi's. And save 15 to 50% off updates for every space now during our big home sale. And save 35 to 70% off select phone jewelry. Plus Macy Star Rewards. We'll see how well it looks rewards upstairs. The cassette might be a little bit fast, but I don't have like a cassette test tape. <laughs> and changing the speed on this thing isn't as easy said as done. So it's fine. I'm not going to worry about... I think it's good enough. He, I don't think... I can't really... It sounds fine to me. If it's too fast, well, I will fix it. But mm -hmm, I don't think it is. I think it's playing pretty good. Not bad. Uh, let's give you a better demonstration. So you got... This is a full speaker boombox. And to me, like one of those Sanyos. It's really cool. Probably from the late 80s. So you have your... Two up firing speakers, front firing speakers, your speaker one and two switch, your bands, which is AM, FM, and stereo, radio tape, tone, volume left, volume right, transport controls with a cassette, headphone jack, tuning knob, power input, handle. This thing actually has some weight to it. There's no batteries in this. And this thing, ah, ah, it's heavy. So, and there's the back of it. Model number 4618. 
I mean, it, just because something's a sound design, don't think it's a piece of junk. Sound design was never high end, but it gets me really angry when people turn their nose up at something just because it was considered a sound design or Yorks. In my opinion, you need to grow up. Not just because it's not a pioneer or something doesn't mean it doesn't deserve some love. And this, in my opinion, deserves love because it's not a piece of junk. All I did to this thing in 30 plus years is change two belts. Clean the potentiometers and switches. That's it. I'm going to replace the antenna because someone broke the antenna off. But that's not a fault of craftsmanship. That's a fault of someone being stupid and careless. So sound design stuff is only pretty good. But I really don't have anything really bad to say about him. I like sound design. And hopefully this will make its new owner really happy. I'm sorry that this isn't the best video, but I don't, uh, I just got done putting it back together while watching that, which will get me in trouble with you know who, so I'm not going to do it. And I got to work on this one now, put it back, get it finished. Yeah, and I have that to work on, a Sunbeam ultrasonic humidifier, which does work, it just needs cleaned up. Got it for four bucks today, going to use it in the winter. Not one of those China Pride ones of today. So I can't buy a new one for four bucks. So this is going to go to its new owner, hopefully tomorrow, and I'll let him play it. And hopefully it'll be okay. If the speed does bug him, I'll fix it. Only problem is it's going to require me taking it all apart again, which isn't the worst thing ever. But it's out. I'll have to do some more playing. I need to get better at adjusting the speed. It just... I have a hard time. I don't have a test tape, so it's hard for me. And by tone, I takes a lot for it to get bad to me. I always think it's off, even if it's good, so I just don't bother. But, you now this is a nice little sound design. Later sound design stuff is sometimes junk, so not everything sound design is worth buying. Stuff from the 90s is junk. Stuff from the 80s, sound design stuff's normally pretty viable. And looks fairly decent. I wouldn't... I, will just, I wouldn't knock them off. And this was actually, yeah, and I think it's pretty cool. Well, that's all, folks, for the sound design boombox manufactured sometime in the 1980s. Not exactly sure when. Couldn't find no date code on anything. And hopefully it'll have a new life. I didn't recap or anything just because everything tested fine. I'm not going to change faults if they're not bad. Don't fix